Hello? You should be able to hear me now. I know this must be very confusing. Please don't panic. My name is Amy. Which means your name is Amy, I guess. You see what I see. You feel what I feel. And you can guide me to do what you want me to do. Don't try to remember. Our memories are mingled together. It will take time to find your way through them. I'll do my best to give you a short summary of what happened during the last ten years. I wish I had more time, but people are waiting for us. People from your time were at each other's throat. The whole climate situation was going downhill. Old conflicts flared up anew, and war spread through the world like cancer that hadn't been cut out completely. But then the inflection happened. An enormous alien spacecraft landed in the desert. That wasn't the inflection. It was what happened when the doors opened. The beings that landed on our planet told us the truth. I mean all of us. At once. It was completely unbelievable and it will be to anyone who hasn't witnessed it. But within the fraction of a second, the secrets of the universe were unveiled, and with them came two gifts that the outsiders had brought us. It was technology, really. The gift of flesh and the gift of neon. Two completely different ways of creating the most advanced and powerful tools, which must seem like magic to someone like you. The doors of the spaceship closed again, and the two beings communicating with us left as promptly as they had arrived. You must understand what this did to us. The magnitude of their revelation shifted our worldviews profoundly. We began to revere these beings as gods, and although our knowledge about them is limited, we understand that they belong to two divine families, the Amesha Spentas and the Daiva. Almost immediately, humanity forsook their traditional religions. In their stead arose the Church of Flesh, dedicated to the Amesha, and the Church of Neon, which pledged allegiance to the Daiva. Okay, I have to hurry up. First and foremost, you need to understand the core philosophies of the two divine families. The Amesha value free will, life, chaos, and change. In contrast, the Daiva prioritize order, security, and stability. These concepts aren't inherently contradictory. We recognize the necessity of a balance between the two. Given human nature's tendency towards individualism, it's no surprise that the Church of Amesha attracted the majority. To maintain equilibrium, an agreement was forged between the two churches. The Amesha assumed control of the legislative branch of governance, while the Daiva, acting as the counterbalance, took charge of both the judicial and executive branches. Now, we are an FBI agent working for the Church of Neon, and our briefing is right about to begin. Now! Ah, Agent Tanner. We were wondering if we would see you today. May I assume the connection was a success then? Yes, sir. The spirit is cooperative, I think. We are ready for our assignment. Very well. We will start with something simple so you two can learn to work together. The chief asked us for our assistance in investigating a robbery. Not the most flashy case, but the item in question was a book stolen from the Cathedral of Lytton. The involvement of the Church of Flesh can make things a little spicy, so tread carefully. Your contact on site is Officer McCarthy. Get to the Cathedral ASAP. Dismissed. <coughs> Fly, what are you doing here so early? Didn't expect to see you before noon. Cleaning up the streets again. You know, instead of doing boring detective work, you could come with me and make your hands a little dirty. Sorry, but I already got a partner and a case to solve. Right. I've heard that you've got yourself a spirit guide. How is she? Or is it a he? Well, we are still getting to know each other. So far, I've got no complaints. We'll see how he performs on our first case together. We can get custom-tailored armor from the armor manager. 
but I don't think that will be necessary for this case. We can get custom... I've taken my gun and the quantum matrix scanner from the locker. I assume you know how a gun works, but let me brief you on the proper use of the scanner. This device can scan the quantum matrix of any item. If the scanner successfully determines the inherent superposition of the object, it indicates that the object's context is predictable to some extent. Conversely, if the superposition is indistinct, the item has a more chaotic alignment. Let me give you an example. If someone plans weeks in advance to dine at a specific restaurant for a particular dish, that food's quanta will have a distinct superposition. However, if someone spontaneously strolls an unfamiliar street and grabs a meal from the first available place, that food's quantum matrix will be less defined. This principle applies to both past and future contexts of items. As you might surmise, this can also be related to the individuals who have, are, or will interact with the item. The mean chaos value of items related to the Church of Flesh is higher than that of the Church of Neon. If the scanner detects extreme values at either end of the spectrum, we must submit the item to forensics for detailed analysis. To be honest, I don't understand most of it myself, but I'll tell you what the doc told me. You are an AI model trained on the memory of a dead person with exceptional skills. The model has been implemented in my neural interface so we can communicate and you have access to my vision. You can't directly access my memory, and I can't access yours in the case it comes back. But you will know what I am thinking, so if I recall something from memory, you'll be able to see it as well. Oh, you've seen him. I guess I must get used to having someone else sharing my thoughts. Huh. Sorry, it's not your fault. I've been thinking about Jeff a lot lately. He's my... We share an apartment. It's complicated. Ramirez seems busy. I better not disturb him. Various status displays of the city's security levels and directional information. A scanner that keeps track of everyone entering or leaving the building. Another busy day in the city. It's really loud in here. These tanks are actually computers made from flesh. Well, in parts anyway. The front desk, but I don't have any requests so far. Another busy day. That must be some kind of local delicacy. I think it looks disgusting. Contrary to what you would assume, many Amesha are actually vegetarians. That's where I live. We'll go there after the shift is over. The Cathedral of Lytton is a masterful display of the power of flesh. 
It's one of the most important places of worship for the Amesha. It's unbelievable that someone broke into the heavily guarded church and stole one of its relics without getting caught or triggering the alarm. Hello, I'm Agent Tanner. You must be Officer McCarthy, I assume? Oh no, I'm sorry, McCarthy has left about an hour ago. I just hope he'll be back soon. I'm his trainee and in all honesty don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I've tried to call him, but got no answer. My name is Goodman. I'll do my best to help. He wanted to meet an informant who had information on the case. I don't have a name, unfortunately, but you could check with dispatch to see if they have anything in their log. check my notes. At approximately 2 a.m., it was reported that an unauthorized entry occurred at the study of the Cathedral of Lytton. Upon investigation, it was determined that the premises had been accessed without any visible signs of forced entry. The method of entry remains unknown. The only item reported missing is a valuable book described as The Echo of Ahura Mazda. Frederick Phelps, the usher, reported the incident to the police at 5.20 a.m. He discovered the book missing from the table in the study, where, according to him, the minister had left it the previous night. Phelps may still be at the police station. There wasn't much to go on. Whoever stole the book had access to the church and its security systems. We have no recordings, fingerprints, or signs of forced entry. The book is estimated to be worth $500,000 but its value will likely be covered by the church's insurance. According to the usher's report, the minister was still at the cathedral around 4 p.m. yesterday. We haven't been able to contact her yet, but Bishop Atura vouched for her and informed us she will be here later this afternoon. Don't you find it a bit unusual that the bishop is so involved in all this? I'm not sure. Perhaps? It might just be a coincidence. The cathedral is clearly important to the Church of Flesh, and, as you know, they have a penchant for unpredictable and erratic behavior. The Eye of the Prophet. He foretold that our gods one day will return and take us with them on a spiritual intergalactic journey. As long as the church is closed, nobody is going to read from that pulpit. Not that we don't already have enough pressure from Director Parker. Hey, where do you think you're going? These rooms are private. I'm here on official business, Agent Tanner, FBI. You are Bishop Atura, correct? A Deva snooping around a church. What a surprise. I've already talked to the police, but sure, go ahead. Waste more of my precious time. I'm the bishop. This is our church. I have to take care of things and ensure everything's in order. I'm surprised to hear the word order from an Amesha. And I'm not surprised that you don't understand. For the Deva, everything is either black or white. Of course, we need order. To a certain extent, that is. It's an opulent copy of the Echo of Ahura Mazda, bound in rose-tinted flesh and adorned with gems and gold inlays. I'm familiar with that book. It's a rather standard text that's available at every drugstore. Well, it might seem mundane to you, but it holds significant meaning and wisdom for our beliefs. However, you're right in a general sense. The content of the book isn't unique. The thieves must have targeted it for the ornate cover. I spoke with Officer McCarthy, and he informed me that he's leading the case. Unless he's present on site, I cannot grant you access to the private areas of the church.
I don't have any reason to visit the temple now. Maybe later. If you need an analysis, just give me the item in question and I will see what I can find out about it. We're doing a lot of DNA analysis, not only of human DNA, but also of all kinds of flesh artifacts. A fine example of Neon Tech. Agent Tanner, how can I be of service? Have you heard back from Officer McCarthy? No, he's still underway. Could you search in the logs if he called someone during the last few hours? Sure, just one second. He made one call. The number is 555-7532-123. It's not registered in our database, so it's probably a disposable phone. Thank you. The plant adds a touch of life to the otherwise cold room. I'll call it Chuck. I don't need anything from him right now. I'm Agent Tanner, and I have a few questions for you. The feds are getting involved in this? Oh my, how much longer do I have to stay here? You're free to go home whenever you'd like, but I'd greatly appreciate it if you could stay just a bit longer to answer my questions. I was exhausted and left the church early, around 4 o'clock. Yesterday's mass was extremely chaotic, and I just wanted to get home. I felt a pang of guilt, so I came back extra early today, around 5 in the morning. That's when I discovered the book was missing from the table in the study. I called the minister, Laura Williams, and she assured me that she had left the book on the table. I informed her that I couldn't find it anywhere. She advised me to report it to the police and said she'd inform the bishop about the incident. She's still out? I have no idea. Normally she arrives at the church at around 8. It was utter chaos. A disturbed woman kept interrupting the mass, constantly shouting insults and accusations. Minister Williams attempted to calm her down, but it was to no avail. Ultimately, security had to forcibly remove her. However, about 30 minutes later, she came back with a reporter in tow. I believe she was trying to prove a point, but her claims were just incoherent ramblings. The reporter seemed to think so too, judging by today's article. The crowd grew agitated, and things nearly escalated to a fistfight. That's when the minister decided to have security clear the room and called off the mass. The front desk, but I... Sure, I'll withdraw the $15 from your account. Sure, I've transferred the paper to your digipad. The first issue is free.
I found a toy robot left behind by some churchgoer. I was able to transfer the recording to my digipad. It's very noisy. A woman is screaming, but I can't understand. It almost sounds like a different language, but none that I've ever heard. I'll run the recording through the Spectrum Analyzer. No, it doesn't look suspicious. There are no hidden frequencies or apparent audio manipulations detected. Yes, that's her, the crazy woman from yesterday. But I still can't understand a word she's saying. Hmm, maybe the bishop could help with that. He's an expert on old and forgotten languages. Hello again, Sunny. Can you please search the database for this woman? Of course, Agent Tanner. Here she is, Anna Steele, age 31, last seen by CCTV at Vohu Mana Station. Do you have anything else on her in the files? No, her record is completely empty. Hello, I'm Agent Tanner, FBI, searching for this woman. Can you please check your records if she showed up at this station? Certainly. Just a moment. Yes, she was here today, captured on CCTV just about four hours ago. She used the info terminal, then left the station. She just came in, used the terminal, and left right after? Yes, it looks like it. Here, I'll give you the admin password of the terminal. You can look up what she was searching for. An interactive terminal that provides information for passengers and tourists. Let's see. Four hours ago. Ah, uh, this must be it. The abandoned station? I've heard about that. It was the first train station an Amisha architect tried to build. But it was a massive disaster. That was during the time when the evangelists used the gift without really understanding how it works. Many of these projects failed, and some were even dangerous. A heap of regulations has been passed since then. Oh great! The Vohu Mana station was built right next to the abandoned station. I should just be able to walk there. These tracks are going nowhere. The station was abandoned as soon as the flesh grew out of control. I've found a phone hidden beneath the rumble. If this is Anna Steele's phone, she might have gone into the underground tunnels. The phone is encrypted. I should let someone have a look at it. I'm not going into these tunnels without reinforcements. How long will it take you to decrypt this phone? Let me see. And I've got access. What do you want to know? The phone's got an unusual stable superposition. 
Let me cross-reference that with the character trait database. Hmm. No, nothing. So that means the superposition is not linked to the person using it, but rather the mode of operation. This phone was not bought, used or thrown away spontaneously, but was part of a plan. Sorry, no. The phone was wiped clean of any stored data. Let me check. Yes, that's the correct number. How did you know? It's the last number that Officer McCarthy called. So, whoever owns this phone was likely the last person to see him. I guess this is my best lead, then. I wish I wouldn't have to go down those underground tunnels, but it seems to be my best option. Ramirez seems busy. Fly, I need your help. I want to follow a possible suspect into some abandoned underground tunnels. Oh, you're taking me on an adventure? Sure, meet you at the entrance. It's about time you get to experience some excitement. Well, there you are. Freeze! Now! Fuck! Fly! Are you okay? Ah. With all that armor, you would think getting shot did hurt less. That bitch escaped through the service tunnels. I don't think we should follow. That's a maze down there. Damn it! You're right, we would only get lost or ambushed. Let's look around if she left any tracks. I've picked up the empty shell. Fly has a point. Venturing in there poses... Fly has a point. Ven... What the hell is this place? It's a flesh construction gone wrong. You know, from the early days? Ugh, freaking flesh breeders, this is disgusting. Hey, you're not supposed to use that word. Oh, come on, Amy, look at this place and tell me this doesn't freak you out. By the way, hey little man inside Amy's head, having fun yet? Ha, huh, I like him. You should keep him. We refer to these enormous, fleshy outgrowths as gigantuans. Due to the chaotic nature of flesh, if it isn't cultivated properly, it can sprout into these creatures. Or whatever you might choose to call them. They're not alive in any conventional sense. The growth can happen rapidly and spontaneously. It can be very dangerous if people are nearby. There's something lying beneath the platform. Gross. Is that McCarthy? I'm afraid so. Look, there's some kind of device stuck to his chest. A cavity below the platform where I found McCarthy's body. The stuff lying around here is not old. Someone must have spent some time here recently. Can we leave already? The smell in here is making me sick. Fly, can you go back to HQ and tell Director Parker that I'm taking over the case? Sure, as long as you're doing the paperwork of what happened here. Oh my, what is this thing? That's what I wanted to ask you. I found it on McCarthy's body. He was entangled in these flesh tendrils. Disgusting, poor man. I will see what I can find out about it, but this will take a while. 
I'll notify you when I've found something. What can you tell me about this shell? Interesting. That's an old 9mm, almost an antique. It's not easy to get your hands on these. They are mostly sought after because these old guns don't have tracking beacons. They're not only very expensive but also hard to find. You owe me, Tanner. I know. I'll make it up. Promise. We can get custom-tailored armor from the armor manager, but I don't think that will be necessary for this case. Dead? This whole affair is getting out of control. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine, but be careful. The bench is empty now. No sign of the book here. The floor beneath the bookshelf is The floor beneath the bookshelf is scratched as if the shelf had been moved a lot. I can't move the shelf. Maybe there's some kind of locking mechanism. Ma'am, the station is called. Minister Williams arrived and is ready for interrogation. At home, taking the day off. I'm not a young gal like you. The commotion during yesterday's mass has taken its toll. The shelf? I don't know what you are getting at. Don't play dumb. The shelf has been move regularly. When I tried to get behind it, it was stuck. All right, you got me. I'm keeping a bottle of whiskey in there. Happy now? I'd be even more happy if you would tell me how to open it. Just push the three green books on the bottom shelf and you should hear a click. But hands off my stuff. I know how much was left. Ha! Got it. There's a bottle in here and another book. I'll take both. It's crammed full of religious books. I found the book. It was in the study, hidden in a secret compartment behind the bookshelf. Oh, that's great. So this has all been just a big misunderstanding. An officer is dead. I would not call that a misunderstanding. Can you please check this book for fingerprints? Sure, no problem. I'll run it through the scanner. The only prints I was able to find were yours. But look here. 
The top of the book has these stripes. If you ask me, someone has wiped the book clean. I found the missing book. It was in your little pantry. What? That's impossible. I've left the book on the table. Why would I put it in there? No disrespect, madam, but these things can happen with age. How dare you? My mind is sharp as ever, probably sharper than yours has ever been. That bottle is mine now. I'm not giving it back. The missing book is missing some pages. Maybe someone had been messing around with it. I should ask the bishop about that. The echo of Ahura Mazda is missing some pages. Here, have a look. Hmm. I don't see any pattern here. They seem very random. Laura has probably not taken very good care of the book. I wouldn't read too much into it. I'm not so convinced. I'll have to keep the book as evidence for now. Fine. The book is easily replaced. I don't have any reason to visit the temple now. Maybe...